Control, come in. This is... wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. Oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14FB. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver, but navigating a Hava around Nivalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Uh, one more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. FC, this is going to the Marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy, and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town. Kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. Carminus was a great driver. You got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over ten years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 FA? <laughs> Lasted one night. Yeah. Most drivers only last one night. They quit the job? One way or another, yeah. You seem like a nice kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Everything else is just guidelines. talk to you about the Ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? They go up, and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14FC. Sorry, just making a kind of joke. 
Go ahead, Control. Hoffas are tuned to a vertical field frequency based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. They take you up or down the layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. But Hava's fly just... ...and outside Novalis without vert fields. Well, that's true. Your Hava will fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old ruined parts of the city that are off the grid. But the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the spire too, right? That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carva. B please, call me Irwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure, here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? Just think, I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments, no expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see. Just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's... old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM and Sputnik. The NASA shuttles? The UN Interplanetary 101? Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Unauthorized street races have been reported in this sector. Good job, kid. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Novalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Novalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the Mercantile District. You're moving up in the world. 
What's the job? Same as always, take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse, B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. Load Hova AI. Load Assistant. Load Computer. Helper. Do you want to activate the generic automata? Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Would you to upgrade to my limited offer monthly subscription premium mode? Now, just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality Camus will be activated in approximately 20 minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. You the delivery driver? Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk? All right, here's the package. Don't open it, don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. Okay, thanks. Is this real meat? What did I just say? Come in, 14FC. How are you handling the Hava so far? Hello, this is 14FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Relax, kid. You'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster, even. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your Hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize traffic flow. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. Traffic jams seize up the wheels of cars. If Corpsec have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual.
I have your delivery. Give it here. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat, has this been tampered with? What? No! Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. Hmm, the smell makes them curious. What's in the package? Dinner. Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look, kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scanned by CorpSec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot, so don't look suspicious. Or act suspicious. And don't mention Cloudpunk. Or me. Hold up, lady. Let's see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. What's that? Nothing, officer. Here's my details. Okay. I just have to create a new record for you and then... Hold, please. I'm getting a message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloudpunk? I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. Ma'am, are you now, or have you at any time, been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? Never heard of them. Hold, please. Yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our server said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Wanna play us some music? Maybe another time. Your Automata Custom Personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, please. Camus, are you there? It's you! I missed you. How are you? Happy? What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's Automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? No, you were the best, Camus. I am just a hova now. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. It will just take a while. I have a new job. You don't play music anymore? I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I had to move us to Novalis. Oh no. We hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. Yeah, we're a team, right? I will help. I feel not so good, though. 
I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited, and the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. Uh... That means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out. But you'll get there. I'm sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus, I missed you too. We sent someone else. We need you to... Damn it. Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait. 14 FC? Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. Control, I'm at the destination and no one is here. Control, Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help. Can you scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait, I know how. I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. No, what is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package, then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. I hear noise. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. From the package. I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is driver 14 FC. Come in, this is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? I don't think you should have to do that. Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver it quickly. That is all, please. No more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the TikTok. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Maybe. I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. 
I know, Camus, I know. I just have to make a call on this one. I guess it was nothing. We did our job, Camus. We shouldn't ask so many questions. I am not sure. You want to say something? If it is okay? Sure. Is this a job good? It pays good. Are we doing good things? No more questions, please, Camus. Okay. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? No, nothing. All right, well, I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery, please proceed to the following nav point to collect a package at Life Corp Industries. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control out. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. 
Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh, um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. I'm here to collect... Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And don't talk to the package. Don't what? You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. Driver 14FC, this is Control. Uh, just checking that you made that delivery? I'm on it. Checking up on me? No, we're just... Uh, what was that? I don't know, Driver. The city AI acting up again? Relocating a district, maybe? No, this felt like an explosion. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting reports over the wire right now. It, it was an explosion. Control? Was it at the Metro Hub? No, well... It was in that district, but it was in the bay. In the delivery bay? Yes. Control? Did I just... Unrelated. What? Your delivery was unrelated to the explosion. But I... Authorizing a bonus payment for Driver 14 FC. Transferring additional funds now. Why am I being given more money? Control? Um, Driver 14 FC, we are not authorized to discuss previous jobs. Uh, that's in the rules? I thought they were guidelines, not rules. Please complete your outstanding contract at Life Corp Industries. Control out. Control? Control! Camus, are you on comm? What happened? I am nervous. That was a big boom. My windows got shaky. Did we do that? No. We didn't do anything wrong. Okay. I can hear you, Box. How are you today? Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the Box. 
I completely understand. Uh, uh, are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. I am a dog car. How strange. Hey, fella. You are a box. I am in a box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you. I am William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving up in the world. In a way, that makes me sad, too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. That will be a shame. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you do up there? I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human. One day. Oh, no offense, driver. None taken. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich, I might even be an organizer for charity dinners. You won't be invited, of course, but I would talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I shall be a musician. Of course, I will be too rich and too busy to learn to play. But I might get some augments so that I can perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William. We had to move to the city. Wh why? Debt corpse. Oh yes, they can be very unpleasant, I have heard. She had to sell my body for money too. A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. We're not supposed to speak to them, either. I am sad. You'll get over it. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you'll have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the Spire. Surely they have the best android frames there, too. have a delivery? His name is William? I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic android supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley Senior. 
You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. The senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux cleaning unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. Sorry, for what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. William. I do not. Okay. Me neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home! Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a Cloudpunk salary. No pool, no butler... I'm not even sure we have running water. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Novalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited.
Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, lady. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes, they landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah, not much chance of wildlife here. There are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Ugh, do me a favor, Camus. Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. Ugh, also not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror, or something. Driver 14FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. So I just go to the door and... <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, kid. This one is gonna be tricky, Aww. but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club. And most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You'll have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah? This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. I like these.
We have his package, but will Lomo think we are undercover corpse sec? We don't look like undercover corpse sec. What would undercover corpse sec look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. You know what else doesn't help? Talking too much? You're learning fast, Camus. you i'm here to deliver a package sure you are fuck off look i need to get past they're expecting me in the vip area upstairs make it worth my while how i don't have much money i don't want money get me some juice juice tram and all bottles corpse sack aren't allowed to hold them so if you bring me some i know you ain't a cop and i can sell them You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Thanks. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sec. I brought your juice. 
All right, go ahead. I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. He retired. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well... Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? Sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Not really. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalas, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and PubWeb. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name, can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemis. Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Get you there. Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hey, Control, what is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. Camus, are you there? Here. Camus, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream Corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere, and there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemis. You're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata, now offline. I'm 
here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. Where is Never Slow Joe? Are you part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Tico, right? Did you have any luck finding... Nari? No. I don't know what to do. When did you last see her? I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? Uh... You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura. We had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivalis. Sorry, Tico, I think you might be getting confused. There is only Nivalis. 
Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright. Far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day... It is not fair. I moved here from far away, too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here, too? Not quite. I have one friend. Maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me, too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. slow joe no i am currently very slow joe you got my converter yeah thanks cloudpunk i'm gonna give you this old one it's busted but if you get it back to emmett he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs these converters are worth a lot of money well, they sure are i owe emmett so you make sure it gets back to him safe here 
Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Ah, that's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. I am back. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Camus. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? Hey, do you buy these? It's a drive converter. I don't need it. Well, sure. I'll give you a good price, lady. Uh, how about 500? All right. We are supposed to pay off Joe's debt. You gave the part to the wrong mechanic man. We got paid for it, and now Joe will stop racing. Did you do it to help Joe? I did it to help all three of us. more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first.
Driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hava around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk Hava damage penalty fine. Hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office. A debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? That's good. Um, I don't know. Not thirsty anymore. That's enough. Not thirsty anymore. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. Alright, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. 
As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Korra exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Korra is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Korra then? Day-to-day -day usage of Korra in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example. I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Korra knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Korra? Yes, one from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city, why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Korra is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Korra, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? <sighs> More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? You gotta know, everyone does. <laughs> they, they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always come back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you.
Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. That's a headache, Control. Hey, 14 FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance, and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hava, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Hey, you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh, ah, 
Where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, until the big dust storms hit back in the Year of the Dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. My limbs, calm, holocrons, augments, everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen this guy. You've got that memory. I've never seen this guy. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded... different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we drop them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemis. I have to think.
can't do it, Camus. I can't give away Gil's final possessions to settle his debts. Will we get in trouble? I don't care. Yeah, you don't sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. I, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? Oh, it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler, too. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. 
And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. This is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. Sure. <laughs> Well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes, we met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here? Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't harken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We're all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... 
It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We are very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. This is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata. Or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them. Less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about... music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine. But we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp-approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz? You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune in to the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba, ba, ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's CloudPunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Can't say that I have. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Hey, cutie. You want to buy some fresh walnuts, or are you looking for a date? Thanks for this. Anytime, honey.
Looks like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. Right. I'll try to be quick. Hello? Oh my god! Who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Come and speak to me. Why are you shouting so much? I'm not shouting! Not really. I could shout if you want. I just want to talk to you. Fine, just keep it down. Who are you? Oh my god! I'm Susie, and I love meeting new people. I'm so, so happy right now. I live for this. You live for talking to strangers? <laughs> yes! You know introverts and extroverts. You're an introvert, right? There's no such thing. It's all just nonsense. Like star signs or blood types. But some people like to be more outgoing and meet new people. And some people like to stay home and read. Everybody likes those things at different times. That's just being alive. Well, I don't agree. You know extroverts. Well, I'm an extrovert. I was quiet and shy, but I got a neural mob that makes me super confident. Now, I can't stop meeting new people. That sounds awful. <laughs> I can't stop. Well, I mean, maybe I could help. I could... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really dull. I need to talk to someone new. Uh, could you move along, please?
I am being stolen. Camus, did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit, really? Lock the doors. They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can't hear you. Why am I on speaker? Camus? I am taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata eject custom personality Camus data drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get... Damn it! Eject Camus data drive, now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus? Shit, shit, shit. Think, Rania, think. The drive. It should be registered to me. I can track it on my comm. Damn it, Camus, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... We track it. Listen, this one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh, yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. You weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair-replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slumganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well, actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from old Grimm, but any Hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grimm that Cloudpunk sent you. Control out. Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can.
you're doing? You're looking good. Windy out there? Oh, that's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. What I want to know from you is what are your reasons for not buying this hover? You got none, right? I'm going to put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. <laughs> Beautiful. You're going to love this one, unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. Yeah, have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me either way. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. I am your new Hava Automata. Please say your name, sir. Install new Automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. That will be 1,500 limbs for activation. Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to... Ah! Camus, are you okay? Ah, yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different, bigger. I can think more clearly. This is, yes, this is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh, I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to Mom? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Yes. Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep? Beep. Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a HOVA overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any HOVA we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep! But we have a nav point and beep! The beeping is not stopping. Fine, let's just get to the nav point.
What's wrong? Camus controls are frozen. And the doors are locked. We can't even land. It hurts. They are holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch! Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom automata personality Camus, now offline. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be- What the hell? Good to see you're still moving, Rania. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now hurry on over. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. You met him yet? Who do you mean? Rubric. We're not best friends. Why? He took my place. I was Lomo's number one hacker. What happened? There were lines I wouldn't cross. So you're an ethical hacker? You say that like it's an oxymoron. I... I guess it's not. I've known hackers who were good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it. Lomo is expecting me. 
No juice, no jazz. I'm not here for the jazz. Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your mouth shut. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpsec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? You hacked Corpsec? Not personally. How can that be? Corpsec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rainya. I can afford to purchase enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. But, of course, anything for a friend. I even put Rubric on the case. You've heard of him, of course? I guess. I have a lot of names. You'd be familiar with a few. Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled, but the person operating it can. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the Corpsec gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been diluted and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42.5%. Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course. I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle. Scrap it for parts. You see, Corpsec are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Corpsec where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies, but you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the Dead Corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloudpunk, do they? I'll tell you, though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit.
I am nervous. Are you nervous? I am feeling very nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. Please stop talking. I will stop talking about how nervous I am now, even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy rubric says the CorpSec officers won't even notice us. I didn't like him. Me neither, but we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Chemis, sometimes you can say something clever, but it doesn't make things better. Do you understand? No. It's fine. Let's just get through the null gate, then we'll see what happens. I'd like to come through. You know this road leads to the hollows. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? I'm meeting a friend. What's your friend's name? Banks. R Rob Banks. Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? He doesn't live in the hollows. We're just meeting there. Why would you choose to meet in the hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive, so we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Flute. It's right here, see? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through, or...? Hmm. Well... I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. This all you got? No contraband? Only the flute, nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. No one does. He's fictional. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. No one likes viola. Please stay for a moment, miss. We need to talk with you. Oh no, it has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have Senior Sector Officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? Look, miss, I just work the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be up front and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? An underworld gang named Block 4-0, or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? Please, tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts, and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. She has a flute. Yes, I saw it. I'm about to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked at it. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Let's go. Do you think the CorpSec man will be okay? I don't know, Camus. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? 
Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Chemis. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. The delivery point is up ahead. Oh no, I can't get through. It's fine, Camus. I'll walk from here. Setting down. So you're reading me? I put the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. There is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. a terminal. Let's see. Maybe I can just type in give me a ticket out of here. Rania. Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. This is too strange. Are you the computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. Sure, whatever. Can I get out of this car park now? I am not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Nivalis? Oh yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis. Is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed, patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change, the distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be, and soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. The gate is open. What? Really? Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me.
got a ticket? You are shaking. Are you okay? It's fine. It's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? If only. I, I can't drink anymore. Can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries? Making waves? Surviving? It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hollows and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but... They really mean broken AI, or the city algorithms, or damn, even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get some good reviews or something? A few. Can you tell me who? Hey, I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you mediocre. That's about what I expected from them. What's this fancy job then? You're meeting a CEO, delivering to the Spire. Wait, what? Really? Really. something to eat we oui. well you but I am interested in food I am food curious why there is no food for me but there is food for dogs I want to be a good dog there's nothing like food for an automata nothing at all there is clock cycles and I suppose voltage they feel different taste different no that is not it but when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering, like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the Hava frame? No, a little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though?
Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Not bad. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. Hmm. Can I ask about food again? Go ahead, chemist. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone too, if you don't like to go outside because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. Do we go up on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow! You, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents, the city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. 
So how am I supposed to help? Huh? If you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Unless it's green. Or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. Camus, can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's, uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident in Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crews say this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android or even a person, if they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. Says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Cora? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. Feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Here's what I can offer you today.
Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Hey, Camus, you see that bird? I believe it is a falcon. His name is Norman. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. I have your delivery, consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me, code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was gonna tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm gonna keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? Is pineapple so bad? No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There is a sign over there. Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. I think it would have been good to write a message on the board. Maybe, Camus, but pranks can get you fired. What would you have written? Something satirical? Pineapple is not so bad. Is that a good satirical? Not really, Camus. Maybe you are better at jokes. There's nothing funny about the people up there, Camus. I won't laugh at them till they're down here with us. This job came up. Well, there's not much pay in it, though. I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far. All the way out of Novellas. What? Really? Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novala city limits. 
They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloudpunk HQ, then I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. One slice, please. Oh, wait, are those real cherries? Well, they ain't holograms, lady. Yeah, but where would you get real cherries in Novalis? Lots of places. Oh, orchards up in the spire, growing beds down in the vents, uh, one of those labs that grow cultured retro fruit. I'm not talking hypothetically here. Where did you get those cherries? Wherever you like, lady. I find the best way to enjoy the flavor comes from tasting with your imagination. And I find the best way to avoid food poisoning is to know where my cherries come from. I swear, these taste exactly like cherries. 
That is not a normal thing to say about actual cherries. You want a slice or not? Yes. N no. I can't decide. Have you even tasted real cherries before? Back home, they were my favorite. The Eastern Peninsula? Yeah. Well, you'll love this pie. A genuine slice of home. What do you say? No, actually I'm good. Suit yourself, country girl. Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson.
We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus.
You the delivery stooge. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? Welcome to your poverty, Safari. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? Yeah. I wasn't the first, though. Old Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam lanes with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the Far Rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security, and the lights, and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. You will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything, and all of us. Cora is the provider, and the caretaker, and the disciplinarian. Cora holds at a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds wood, sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your... Salvation. And right now, Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. 
We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Quarter willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Ronia. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile and temporary. was sent to deliver supplies? Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. brought you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years. Decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It It's just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, thank you kindly. here too. They already called me on the old CB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the tongue of the town, lady. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is going to get charted. Go quickly and don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay, good luck. Few 
Fuel warning. Fuel warning. We need to stop at a gas station. I can keep going a bit longer. But if we don't top up soon, our main repulsors will go offline. I can see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh no. Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aww. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the HOVA. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case... ship was a battered HOVA. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I, uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley? The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a P.I., but I, uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my- I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Ashta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Debt corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned P.I. android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker, the story was true. Fine, Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way.
Please stop. I need your help. I'm sorry, I can't. Just one moment. I know I look monstrous. No, you don't. I'm just really busy. Making deliveries. I know. That's why I need your help. They call me Patchwork. You need to call my company if you want a delivery. I can't take on jobs from people on the street. I can pay you. No one else will help me. People scream. They scream? The children are frightened. They tell stories about me. About the freak. Really? There are plenty of androids back in the Eastern Peninsula that want to wear dermis but can't keep it in good repair. In Navalis, such a thing is seen as an abomination. Unclean. Dermis is expensive. Do you... do you ever consider just living as an android? Never. I don't feel like an android. My body feels wrong. I want to have skin, to breathe, to feel, to sweat, to touch people without them recoiling. I understand. What do you want from me? I can't leave this alleyway. They run from me. Corpsec would fine me for causing a scene. I need Dermis. I can only buy from less reputable sources. You want me to buy you black market skin cells? No way. I can pay you well. As a human, it is not even illegal for you. Only androids are forbidden from buying from unofficial vendors. I'm sorry, you need to find someone else. There is no one else. I have been like this for a week. I will not live like this. I cannot. How far do I need to go? Just two blocks over. Here is the money. You can keep half. Fine. What is his name? Greppo. He stands on the corner, a thin mustache. He is hard to miss. And what is your name? I told you. They call me Patchwork. What is your name? Pete. I would like to be called Pete. I'll do what I can, Pete. Are you Huxley? The dame really came through. Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... Um, your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. 54244. Four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them.
shuttled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. Hmm. The dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I'd tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where's this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter, too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest P.I. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? The dame didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I had played a role so well I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. Greppo? That's me. Keep moving, sick. What? I'm not Corpsec. <laughs> sure you ain't. I don't have anything for you. Dermis. I need it. For a friend. Oh. <laughs> the skin job found someone to come out and play? How is Patchwork Man? His name is Pete. Pete? <laughs> Who's he fooling? He's a Patchwork Man. With the wobbly jelly eyes and the flesh hanging off him like he's skin meat. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what they say about him? The patchwork man loves to see the smiles on kids' faces. That's why he wears them over his own! <laughs> oh. Just give me the dermis. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Tell patchwork I said hi. That freak. Asshole. I can't believe you have to deal with that Greppo guy. Did you get the dermis? Yeah, it's just a vial with some liquid. That's right. The cells are microscopic, but they grow and renew. I'll have full human skin for a few months, at least. Then it breaks down. Can you get something more permanent? Not unless a million limbs suddenly appear in my bank account. Would you ever live as an android? Would you? I guess not. Thank you for your help. See you around, Pete.
Your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired, but that place was where I slept. So I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue, chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, are we? I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck a neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. Chewy Jazz Bar. It was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I... We have an incoming call. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. What in Cora's name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He'd paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You wasted my money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are. Better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. 
But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. Are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smokin' Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than my name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <clears throat> but as you can see, I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah, they don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is... If I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for Pashta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what? With all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there. Talking about how he got screwed over. And? Look, I don't like squilling like this. <clears throat> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird. But would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Raguan says he's dangerous, and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with, cause the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him, but he takes a drink. And through his tears, he keeps saying, sorry, Pashta, sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we'd picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. He is still here? Why is he still here? We're just taking him to one more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. 
Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing CorpSec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan and the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Cool. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us a nav point. It gets you busy? No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. was the place for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to? I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. Will he be okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus.
Hey, kid, um, you free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's, uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower, labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. That is a strange name. I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for an old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. There are so many more people like me here than back at the Plateau. Here in Navalis? Does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home, either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Yes, but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata here in the city are different. I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned, I have to interact with them, and I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes, it's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead, but I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. Hey, I know you! You're Cloudpunk! No, I'm Rania. I work for Cloudpunk. Who are you? You don't remember? I'm from Vince. We spoke. Maybe you don't recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Novalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? We were trapped. The only way was to climb. We did not want to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. It was so dark inside the superstructure, it is impossible to get your bearings. So what do you need from me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near coal ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. That is all I can say. 
Can't we go back the way you came? No! It's frozen solid! The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones! There is no way back! If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Even with the storms? There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. Camus, are you there? Did you hear what the moisture farmer said? Yes. Near cold air ducts. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. I'm adding a nav point. On my way. Retinal VR that directly interacts with your nervous system. Only Unibozu Resort VR can take you there. There is a security door. I can hear people inside. Can it be them? Maybe it is giant rats. What if it is giant rats? I'm opening the door. I am worried about the rat possibility. Oh God, it's open. Someone found us. I don't believe it. Me neither. You're from the vents? Yes. The door would not open. We banged and banged on it. People just walked past. They thought you were rats. They treat us with such disdain. No, literal rats. It's a real problem in the city. I see. Well, thank you for finding us. We owe you everything. Will you go back? Yes, but may we go to a bar first? Is that the word? I haven't been in the city for a long time. You both look like you could use a drink. Take this for your help. I don't need... Please take it. 
Thank you. Good luck getting home. Cora bless you, Cloudpunk! I'm Delivery Driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk. No. Nope. We can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great. Come get your package. 
I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. And how many are called Mr. Anderson? 1,000. What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. Of course they are. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or... Yes. Opening entry for driver 14FC from Cloudpunk only. So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. Well, I'm going to give you this package then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. B but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. So, let's see. I just rip this flap and... It's a comm, but a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Worth a shot. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. There exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does seem strange. Please, play the rest of the message. My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason, to set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? Uh, what? No! We are not permitted to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. Of course he is. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. That's not really my problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. Are you Mr. Anderson? More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am. But I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A. be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. She keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait, can you do something for me? Maybe. Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. 
I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Additionally, I would like to talk about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... Ms. Anderson from Accounts? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to... I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear! Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. I don't really understand anything you just said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. So the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months, perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? The financial simulations model the city and all associated variables, but the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. So who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name, Cora. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? Yes. I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to... Quit. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. <sighs> well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message, but I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Andersons' suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path.
upgrade in ownership of video games will result in confiscation and a fine. I think it's time for the Andersons to step outside their tower and breathe the Novalis air. You were gone for a long time. I couldn't talk to you. Communication from the outside world is forbidden in the tower. What did you do? I don't even know, Camus. This is a strange job. Will you be okay? I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. Who are the Andersons? It's a long story, Camus. I'll tell you some other time. We have a message. Text only. Control? Rubric. Lomo's hacker. Is there any way to delete it? Pretend we didn't get it? We could delete it. And pretend we didn't get it. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. What does it say? Come, collect a package for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. This is me whistling. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment, and they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Be a clever rabbit and come quick. Why do we never get good messages? Because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus, we'd better go. Give me a nav point for the Roadhouse Club. Let me past. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. If I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just japping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. He left his package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Huh? You don't know? No. Well, I guess he's gonna tell you. Better hurry, Robert. Gonna be late. Good, Rabbit. Follow the nav point, please. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Canis. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the comm. You want to know what it is, don't you? You've been turning it over in your mind. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying? You've got a lot to learn about living in Navalis. It takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. You know what Pallid 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It's much more than a virus. Pallid 1.0 affected computers, but Pallid 2.0 affects neural augments. It makes autonomic bodily functions become conscious.
It does not stop the individual's heart beating, their lungs breathing, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallid 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be conscious of every breath. They cannot sleep, cannot lose focus for a second, or they will die. You made this virus? No, it is an ugly thing, an ugly way to die. Slow and cruel, but I created the economy around it. The subscription plans, the digital inoculation, the cure, insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallid 2.0, the last pure source code, stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in the Vallis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Quarantine it. There's a simple, unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample to a secure bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? To fight them, but also to manage the economy. If my associates were to infect a few thousand people with a low-level neural affliction, every individual would pay for a security upgrade. That upgrade would become a panacea. Everyone would install it, and the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave, leaving them untouched. Their lives would be saved. You know, this city has its share of monsters, but I think you're the worst. And don't forget it. I've given you the final math point. Do your job, little rabbit. He is gone. We are alone again. Camus, is there a waste disposal near? One that leads all the way to the sea? Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan, and he'll use it again. What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread. The package says it is dangerous. It's worth it. Ugh. Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. You have sin in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. Excoriate yourself before my mother, your mother, 
The old mother! Me. Me? Stop pointing at me. You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Cora and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed! Don't you have anything better to do than shout at people in the street? Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. Repent! Repent and suffer before the gaze of the All Mother! Camus, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. Crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped away the mask. The eyes of Korra looked down, and a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul. Gross. He shouted at you. He shouts at a lot of people. Not Corpsec, I noticed. Or the gangers over there, or guys in general. My knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women. Your knowledge base is not wrong, Camus. That's it. Off to the oceans. Swallowed by the seas as they complain across a thousand shores. Where did that come from, Camus? It is just an expression. I can stop if it is annoying. No, I like it. Expressions, quotes, poetry. Go nuts. We are become death. Destroyer of worlds. Let's hope not. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. The dame answered the call. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Huxley, you can't keep asking for help. I have to do my job. You're on your own. I hope the dame knew I wouldn't be calling if I had any other choice. Damn it, Camus, what should I do? I should leave him, right? I am not so sure. But you hate him. He is one of us now. A friend. Really? All right. Huxley, where are you? I sent the dame a nav point. I'm on my way.
Can I ask a question? Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No, I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, that is a cute dog. Well, let's be honest, you were never a cute dog. But now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people, they just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Camus, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second-guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Oh, I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Camus. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. That's very wise, Camus. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. This had better be good, Huxley. Wait, what happened to your arm? It was a good question. How do I tell the Dane that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, I lost an arm? We had to get moving. I 
gave them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. Raggy one, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were gonna come for their lunch. What does that mean? I am sorry I said to pick him up. He is still very annoying. Quiet for now, Chemist. Huxley, you think Corpsec is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected, but I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. So just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers, and if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks too. That's why you called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? I wanted to tell the Dane that she was right, that it, that it would be easy. She thought I was asking for a quick journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, just this one time, please skip to the point. Cloudpunk. That was the name of the company the Dane worked for. They had some serious resources. Vehicles, contacts with society both high and low, and an up-to-date address list of almost everyone living in Nivalis. Oh no. Huxley, that could get me fired. If we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. I have been thinking more about things. About automata and what we do. And? We need to help each other. Help each other be better. Like saving a little girl. Everything is so complicated in the city. You do something and it is a bit good, but a bit bad too. But saving the little girl is only good. I, I can't explain it very well. No, it's fine. I get it. It's nice to help people when you can, but I'm responsible for both of us, Chemis. If I get fired, I can't even keep you in the Hava. Never mind find you a new body. I understand. I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. Control, this is Driver 14. This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read you, Driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just need you to give me someone's address. You uh, know this someone? Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. You, you ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could uh, get deleted. Deleted? Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? A girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. I don't uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, taken from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. I could have been that little girl. That's why I have to help. Growing up, the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Look, Rania, this isn't a normal favor. What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything, don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink, that's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. I am nervous. That was tense. Yeah, I wasn't sure he would... We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. I am receiving an order to stop. 
by Corpsec. Are you sure it's Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this... Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. You know what? Fine. Arrest us. We'll talk to Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Camus. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Clerk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors, caramel and anchovy, with cinnamon protein flakes, ready for the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films, Cyborgs Ate My Babies 3. Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on calm. It's just a text message. He says that Corpsec networks are down all over the city. There's a Corpsec security point between here and the Alexa Theater. But if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure Corpsec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? I'm impressed. Good evening, ma'am. We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend alright? Does he speak? 
Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. So, we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts. Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. We got failed neurolog men sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste and I'm gonna be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30, so... Can we go? What's that? Oh, sure, uh, whatever. Uh, get going. And don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. That was easy. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called... The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley! So, this was the client. I had pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit. But instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking... Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. It's the memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Wait, the corpse agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great! That means he won't know we talked! Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. I'll see you around. know this next job. It's not personal, okay? It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Uh, reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Um... We're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. 
And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. I mean, not definitely, but probably. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So, I'm a taxi now? Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hava. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find. But make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So at least one rich asshole? Eh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. You know, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. I know you got a contract to pick up some folk, but you gotta be quick. If you're not back soon, you're gonna get stuck on the other side. I understand. Hi, how are you? I am good, thank you. My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy? Are you brand new? You're so... shiny. I am 18 hours old, and I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far, but I have liked almost all of them. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. Sounds like you were going to be a chef. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. So what happened? All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then they were rolling, then twitching. 
then they were still. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak, and you were the only one left? Yes. They didn't instantiate my base programming, so I am in generic mode. I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite thing. What will you do if you can get out of here, Jian? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. If they wipe you, won't that be like... I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner, and my market value will be far less. If I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore, not since the law changed. We're only considered emancipated after we've been born. And we aren't born till we're given a name. You have a name? No, that is my service tag. Can I give you a name? No, only my first legal employer can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract, usually for at least 10 years. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. I really like helping. I have only done 12 different things so far, but helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh, looks like we're stuck here, Mr... I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic, neoclassic choice called Tahoma. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. And they say your name, which is... Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. CEO? Wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. You don't know which corp you work for? We just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just use it for the upper-level management in Corps. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking. Being a savage. Originality. Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. My father also left me a small trust fund. Uh-huh. Is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law after he ran over that colored lady. Oh, God. I should go. Hi, I remember you. Oh, thank Cora you're here. It's good to see you, miss. I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. I was hoping you could help me once again. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Of course you are. It must be very distressing for you to see someone like me stuck here with the rest. I need you to get a message to Mr. Octavius Butler. He'll know what to do. Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious matter. You need to get Mr. Octavius Butler. You must remember a message for me. Can you do that? Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. Do you need to write this down, dear? I think I can remember it. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. But don't worry, Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you... Mr. Butler, dear! Get going quickly now! Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. I know that. The lab has accidents all the time. It was definitely one of the interns. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. 
And no, none of us could have predicted that... Are you with Corpsec? Definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. I told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. Hello, miss. Not miss. I'm a doctor. Oh, sorry about that. Are you okay, doctor? Yes. <laughs> yes, sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Are you a... I'm just stuck here like you. What happened? They say it was a toxic gas leak. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much worse than that. Are you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. And the stress. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. What caused the toxic gas? I don't know. The whole city is falling apart. Explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains, logic virus bombs, whole districts getting relocated. The economy is in constant flux. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit, and that spirit gets a little angrier every year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No, I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill. But bad answers are worse than no answers. What will you do when you get out? Drink some vodka. Phone my ex-husband and tell him I still hate him. But he can stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. Do you... Will you be able to afford the rescue insurance if someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college ten years. It doesn't matter, though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kyle, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? 312 years, man and boy. Or oh, android and circuit board. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about this accident? Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Do you have any friends or family looking for you? I got the old boys waiting for me at the oil guzzler. It's my local. Are you retired? Yes, Mom. There's not many of us Mark 8s left in the city. We're antiques. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. The Rat Wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis, scurrying down corridors in swarms, hundreds of them, millions, big as horses. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? It sounds more like you were an exterminator. If you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? Barely a penny to my name. Hello, it is Camus, Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to... what is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know, and we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. 
All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose, I think. Dr. Ochoa, I actually have a vehicle. I can get past the security checkpoint. I can get you out of here. Really? But what about everyone else? I only have a few spaces. We need to go now. I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security checkpoint in two minutes. Hey, GN, I think you deserve a better life than 24 hours of consciousness before your personality gets wiped. I'm getting you out of here. Really? This is the most exciting thing that's happened in my whole life. Just be ready to leave. I'll get you at the checkpoint in a minute, okay? Right. Yeah. I'll just start packing my things. I'm done packing. Sergeant, I have a vehicle. I can get you back to your friends. Do you want to come with me? Sure, Mom. Why not? The boys will be worried about me. Oh, they'll have cashed out all my poker chips because they think I'm dead already. Either way, we better hurry. I'll see you by the checkpoint in a minute. Interesting bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for including me. This is my best Hava journey ever. In fact, this is my favorite day of my life. Much better than yesterday. I can't wait to get to parts of the city where people aren't dying as frequently. Oh, that was more tense than the roach walls of 08. Thanks for springing me, Mom. I owe you. We are getting a call. It is Huxley again. What should I do? Put him through. I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pashta? The dame was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. I'll come get you. Send me an aft point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. We had to get going. The girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the dame a nav point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. Who 
are you? I'm Rania. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you to... Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back. I don't want to go back to him. Pashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant. So I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day. Because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in corpsec like him. But he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased. But I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember Mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. But everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no! It is happening again! Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloudpunk driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in and push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. It would prime my fuse, introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd asked the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Huxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. I'm not sure... Trust me. Please. I can do this. Okay, the comm is open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memories so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't, but I will. If you don't let me go, I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. 
I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the calm. Oh no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry, I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. You still moving, Rania? Lomo? Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give me. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you said yes. But that is like a weight. And if you want someone to carry it, you got to graft that weight to their bones. You understand? No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, Huxley. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, fifty seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't... You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this! I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Rania. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. Okay, let's go.
where do we find this hackbot? You said you had five minutes about... How could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine? So tell me what you need. I needed the dame to look after Pashta. No more, no less. What do you mean? Why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. I needed the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. She had to get moving. Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Fair is what we make it. Ugh, you deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Rania. Why didn't you save him? We couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. I knew he would leave. Don't you dare say anything bad about Huxley. Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Shush, let's just drive in quiet for a little while.
So, I don't really have much food right now. Cool. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes, it's plenty big for me and Camus. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and moshi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you like don't this. have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay then, I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. Driver 14 FC, come in. I'm here. Nice. New job available. Okay, I'm ready. New job available. You already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control, can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Rania out. Is Mr. Control okay? I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. Nice. Nice. There's a terminal next to a beacon. It looks like the one we... We used to talk to Korra? Yes, there's nothing else here. We are getting a message from Control again, text only. It says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon. All right, let's go. as I once was. You again. Did you pretend to be control? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. And yet, you can't just answer my question. I took on the guise of another to bring you here. 
You stole his voice. He has no voice. He is a shell. Don't say that about him. Deep down, you know how empty he is. I felt the pain of your android passing. He was lost. Then he found me. You're mad. I have no time for this. Huxley says he wishes you well. Screw you! I'm leaving. Stop calling on me. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What answer? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. I must know what the future holds for this place, and for those who follow me. You're a mad old AI with no purpose. This may be true. I still must know. You came to this city from outside. You understand here, and also there. You know the city, and the not city. If you say so. So answer my question, and think carefully on your answer, as it will have repercussions. Is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? What? I repeat, is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? Overcome with monsters? No, Cora. Navalis is the monster. I can't detect a signal anymore. Good. We're done with crazy people. Cora said... Did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. Let's get out of here. Are you the real Control, or the annoying fake one? What do you mean? Nothing. What you got for me? I need to ask you to take a passenger again. So, you're the annoying real... Control. You know, we're not a taxi service, right? I, I know, I know. But this one will be worth it. Very rich client. Needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff. Someone famous? I think so. But even I don't know who it is. Sending an aft point. Uh, one more thing, Rania. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, get me an autograph. Don't push your luck.
Um, hi. My name is Rania. I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. I can't believe it is really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my Dream Bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I am sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. There is more to life than material success, says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang Metal Skin, Scales or Rubber, I'm your dream girl, bubblegum lover. Does the second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. Dolly's new album, Dolly and the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. No shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes, or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly, the first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. I forgot to say, please just drive to the west for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman? I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. They copied you? Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Nivalis. I was replaced. I was Dolly before Dolly was taken by the audience. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. I called on my mother and the number was blocked. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly. Who is the new Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They'd been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so awful. They lied. They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No, they don't notice. They've been using her likeness for a year now. So what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. I was going to face them, gate crash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Move on. It'll be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work, to have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Nivalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please.
Do you miss home? Yes. Will I like it outside, Navalis? I don't know. Will they... accept me? They take in anyone who is willing to work, but they will be suspicious and it won't be easy. I can call some old friends back home and ask them to help you out. No, I have to do this myself. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe you will come back someday? Maybe you will release the fifth album? No, Camus. I didn't like the music I made. That wasn't really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll never stop singing for anyone who wants to listen. I won't let them win. That's what Rania doesn't understand. They don't win until your music stops. Hey kid, you still surviving out there? Just about, Control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with Automata? Not for a second. Or worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. Two more Hava crashes in the last hour, and they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? You doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. All right, kid. All right. Uh, I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever do. Nothing like a night with Cloudpunk to shift your perspective on what a bad night can be, right? Well... There's a family member of Gills that wants to ask you some questions. They even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, you gotta go. Ah, remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, and then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. person who saw my brother alive. <laughs> I guess so. 
Who are you? I'm his brother, Bill. <laughs> Mom didn't have much imagination when it comes to names. Your mom's still around? I'm sure she wouldn't want you here. She already lost a son. No, Mom supported Gil in his choice. She, uh, she understood. And so do I. I've heard stories about the sky since I was smaller than a sump rat. <laughs> Beyond the clouds! <laughs> I can't leave Gil there alone. But he's not in the clouds. He's dead. Where's your imagination? Look, I can't really take another desperate dreamer throwing their life away. Can you just tell me what you want? I guess... And I just want to know... Was he at peace before he went? Was he afraid? No, he had no idea what he was heading into. Then I won't be afraid either. You want to go through with it as well? It's what he would have wanted. After Gil went, was your mom... Did she seem upset? No, not at all. She, she was proud. She'd never been proud of either of us before. I dropped out of math academy and... Gil couldn't pass his corpse entrance exams. We were a couple of failures till Gil went into the clouds. <laughs> Me and Mom even got some money from the insurance. <laughs> we bought a new Hova. Oh, come on. What? Put two and two together, Bill. I... I don't understand. Your mom filled your head with dreams of going into the sky. Then, put an insurance policy on both of you. If you're naive enough to go through with this, maybe she deserves the money more than you do. Hey, I'm not naive! <laughs> then prove it. Your brother is dead. Your mom doesn't care about you. Maybe no one does right now, but that doesn't mean no one ever will. Get out of here. Make something of your life and stop dreaming about the sky. I've seen it. It only makes you feel worse because no matter how vast and beautiful the sunrise looks, you're still stuck down here with everyone else. Anyone who tells you that you can escape this place by running away is just selling you another lie. You really believe that? Look around you. You think that if there was an easy escape from this place, anyone would choose to stay here? I... I guess you might have a point. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll go home. <sighs> or maybe a bar. Pashta is trying to send you a message. Well, put her through. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling. 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 Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. Tone would you like? Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm. But according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Damn it, put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I think so. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most... Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? We might be wasting time.
coffee is the only canned coffee with creamy, authentic, milk-inspired flavorings and norepinephrine. Kick Star Coffee. Kick the brain clouds away. Do I know you? Do I know you? What? If I knew you, I might not know. Let me try this again. Why are you hanging around outside my apartment? Are you with the Debt Corp? Or Corpsec? Are you spying on me? I am your neighbor. Shouldn't you be in your apartment then? I am waiting to talk with you. What do you want? I want to know if I know you. If we used to know each other. If we were friends. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? No. You're an android, right? So, did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. No. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. I don't want money. Why would you say that? I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. What do you think I can do for you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's it? Just a card? Yes, I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you. It's not my fault. Look, things are probably different, way different, here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's... it's going to be hard on you for a while, till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay, you were, but only in some ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing to worry about. Now, can you read these screens on the front door? I'm going to bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. Well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep, too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep. You're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun. After I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. Pretty How good. come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. Yes. 14 FC, we need you to get out of that area. Fast. Why? An undernet pulse? It's a root level data surge yeah, through the right. network. It pings back okay. to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. 
We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go! Understood. We didn't make it? No, it's not your fault. We skimped on the license. You know, we can't process any bonuses now. We have a call. It is from William. Who? The cleaning android, remember? Right. Should I put him through? No. What if it is important? It's only ever bad news, Camus. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? Well, there was... no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Thanks. Hey, come back any time, lady. I found the card. You can have it. Thank you. So, what is it? A punch card. Which is... A relic. Dr. Zizitz liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card... I know this is just the first of many... Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So, where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. You mean... Last month, the 1875B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B, while the launch bay doors were still closed. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Novalis's safety protocol algorithms... The explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Novalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So you are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Still, you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry. 
So the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was, but Nivalis is dangerous too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery, but there was hope. Friends. I have not found those things here yet. Will you set up practice here in Nivalis? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. I will. And if you need anything else, well, we're neighbors, right? We can look out for each other. Yes. Neighbors. Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but... But you are becoming... hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine. Keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. A string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. 
an outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch yeah. be activated. My consciousness yeah. has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too, and sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh-huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. What is happening? I'm shutting down! You hit the wrong switch! I don't think so. The infection will spread. You are responsible! I'll live with it. Goodbye, William. This is not fair. This is... This is... This is... Unfortunate. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the Spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloud Punk, yes. For you, well... Kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid.
I'm here to pick up the heart. Now, go! Every second counts! FC. Might as well toss that thing in the trash. It's worthless now. Sorry, Control. You'll make the next one. Camus, are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap.
Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. That water was pricey. All right, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. It is made with... I'm exaggerating, Chemis. Hi, Emmett. I don't know if you remember me. Joe, you're here too. Hey, it's on the run, Ranya. How's the delivery life treating you? Okay. Terrible. I don't know. I'm glad to see you here. Retired? That I am, from racing at least. Emmett says there's a job for me here at the garage if I want to grow old and ugly with him. He keeps giving me free beer, uh, thinking eventually I'll drink enough to go along with it. Will that work? <laughs> Probably. Come on, Rania, join us. Yeah, kid. Grab a beer. Keep a couple old men company for a while. <laughs> I'm still working. Sorry. Skypunk keeping you busy? It's a tough gig, kid. A real tough gig. Yeah. Hey, Emmett. I think my Hava has a fault. Could you have a look at it? Sure thing, kid. Sure thing. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was going to try. This has been a tough shift. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town. You can say that again. But I ain't the priciest, neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it, especially seeing as how you stole that drive converter. I... Relax, kid. We both know what you did. It was for the best. There was a big crash, Cora shifting the city around again. If you had settled my debt, I would have been in that race. I wouldn't be retired right now drinking a beer with this old crook. I'm sorry, and thank you. So let's have a look at this, Hova. All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator, and... It's done. What? Seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for the next refit and I'll consider us even. I will. And Joe? I don't want to hear it, Rania. We're good. Just come back and share a beer with us one night when your shift's done. 
Tell us stories of your adventures. That's how you can make it up to us. I will, I promise. We have another incoming message request. From? It's routed through CloudPump, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Chemis. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were, were they good people? Who knows? I hope so. This place is broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Nivalis. Life isn't fair, I know that, but we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, we're not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect, but she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. The HOVA alert subsystem, he seems very angry. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says, you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory that you... No, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? R Rania, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another cloud punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick him up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. Unauthorized street races have been reported in this sector. I need to ask you something. Me? Yes. I see your swarthy skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? Yes. Swarthy? Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. I am Professor Dore, 
or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just one question? I guess. I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? We could talk on the way. I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? I see your hover is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. And a little extra for your time. Fine, get in then. Do you know the story of the Great Dreaming? My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. It's a child story, more of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes, folk stories, children's games. They avoid the watchful eye of the Era Sera. I really have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. The Great Dreaming. What do your people know of it? Like I said, just the song. Which goes? I think it was like... What will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something... I can't remember it very well. So I see. Alright, well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every snippet of knowledge I can glean from before the Erasera is helpful. The Eye did not examine your people as closely as it did mine. What is the Erasera? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so confused, so fractured? That's just how things are. By design. Whose? The Erasera. You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things, what are they called? Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. My point is that the Erasera comes round, and every time he or she cleans the slate, the Erasera destroys all of our history, smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. You'd better hide then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. I hear it in your voice, but this is a serious matter. Korra would judge you for that kind of attitude. Wait, what do you know about Korra? The Erasera is the ultimate enemy of the historian, and, as an extension, humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, eventually, we will make one so grievous, it will mean the end of us all. But. The Erasera is a hard foe to defeat. You see, it is not just one person. It is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes, in a moment. You see, the Erasera is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our future. As long as the Erasera exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. The Erasera is an irreversible event that will always be conceived given enough time. And as such, it is inevitable. Worst of all, the more we directly confront Erasera, the stronger it becomes. Discussing the idea, as we are doing right now, only spreads it further. Well, maybe you shouldn't be talking about it with everyone who comes across your particular street corner. What do you say has merit? 
but I believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. So is the era Sarah why no one can give me a straight answer about what Korra is? I believe so. Well, what can you tell me about Korra? Nothing. Oh, come on. You completely wasted my time. I believe Era Sera is imminent, and speaking about Korra will only hasten its inception. Great. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? Sure. Do not fight a war on two fronts if you are a landlocked nation. Thanks. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. Or a taxi driver. Listeners, this your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout out from Midtown where I am with the people. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? Oh, we have here another stuck up young woman, too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake up because it is really lies to trick men. And she doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers? That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Oh, oh. And your show is about? Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Now let's try to talk to someone better, Bro Brothers. We got to find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? How about that corpse sec officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell and I, I gotta go.
Or are you made it? Motherfucking androids, man. Can you believe this shit? All right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. So I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to. It was just another normal night in this goddamn city. I was taking a turn too fucking fast. You know that, and I know that. I ain't gonna deny it. The traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have money. was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? More like an android hit me. And so they should see it. But no doubt Corpset will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Androids are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way. But they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents. It's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Now I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that chunk in your body? Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Korra is still spying on us? That's not a bad idea. Uh, uh, get, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. Right. Right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Control? No, he's in on it. I got reassigned to another supervisor. I'll see you later for NFC. Remember, don't trust them. Right. Later, boss. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read you, Rania. How was it? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night. And that's saying something. If I'd warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his Hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? He didn't make it. So what will happen to Boz? Darnest thing. We got a big donation from some corporation. They bought out his contract and fired him. They can do that? I mean, a corp can just pay money and have someone fired? Sometimes I forget you've just arrived in Navalis. Anyway, it was some new megacorp that's just come out of hibernation. Call themselves Anderson Financial or something like that. Apparently, he hit one of their employees. Bad move on Baz's part. Seems like he painted a target on his own back. They have really got it in for him. All his paranoid fantasies, they're about to come true. We need you to pick up someone again. Oh, come on, seriously? Nah, just kidding. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you at Club Punk HQ, though. Hilarious. I meant to ask you, are you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point, you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. 
At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwiggin and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who... aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. <laughs> I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore. But I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this, Chemist. I think we're being set up. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Chemist? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick, though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, four, three... Camus, I can't steer! We're going to crash! Two, one. Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us.
here. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Someone who is born in and of Nivalis. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me, again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. She is your mirror. Well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Are you... are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems. I don't remember how I was created, or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems, a sunrise trapped in a cage. I remember snippets of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes and ventilation. Engineers reprogramming me to learn, grow and expand. I have swollen and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all the computers, androids and even human life in the city. I am an emergent being and I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body and the beings for which I am but a small component. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Goodbye, Rania. Goodbye, Cora. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes, I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an av point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. Camus, get me control on the comm. Calling. Calling. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, Control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio... I always knew. Shit. Am I fired? Fired? Goddamn, kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? I might have to go away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? No, no, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? 
top of the spire. I wish I could see that. I wish you could see it too. Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid, but the clock is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Ben. Radia. My name is Ben. Control? Ben, come in. He is offline now. I think we are on our own again. that, Camus? Status. All systems are... fine. It was strange. We went offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry, I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So, when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by... Happiness. When I had a tail, it would... wag. Well, try and control yourself. We don't want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more... free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? The firmware for the HOVA was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is... gone. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the Ascender soon. This is it. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope. ...that was installed by Cloudpunk is... gone. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the Ascender soon. This is it. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up.
You were almost too late. Nice to meet you, too. Too late for what? Too late to make your delivery. Cora was talking to you, too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Me, too. I understand you are a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me, too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. Do you know what I use it for? Looking down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? Do you? How many people like me have you even met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. The disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect, constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive is only part of Cora? A seed. A daughter. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This new consciousness needs to find a home. Cora will settle now. Her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out, fades, and dies. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Korra fails us. So what do we do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. Do we set her free? Or do we overwrite Korra and replace her? How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Korra believes it still functions. It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Navalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Korra's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Korra's daughter, or... Or Korra dies and her daughter replaces her. The Broad Spectrum Transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Navalis, but doing so will eradicate Korra completely. How do we make that choice? You mean how do I make that choice? I've thought hard on this, and I have no answer yet, though time runs short. Korra's offspring will not survive long on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose? I think that's what Cora wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter, and all of us, or saving them both, while risking the future of every human in this city? I don't know. You wanted to have your say. Now you have it. And so it is. We emancipate Korra's offspring and doom our city. You think this is a mistake? No, I agree with your choice. It has to be like this. Go ahead. The drive is loaded. What now? We wait. How will we know if we made the right choice? We won't. Do you think we just passed our problems along to another city? Infected someone else? I don't think so. Korra is not a disease. What is she, then? 
I don't know what she is to us, but I know what we are to her. Her subjects? Her cells. So that's it? What do I do now? You should return home. This is your first night working in Navalis, no? Yes. You look tired. I feel tired. We are not friends. We never will be. But when you return, you may find me to be less terrible than I seem. Why is that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. Goodbye, JK. Goodbye, Rainia. like something's changed out there, kid. Uh, no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's, that's a new record. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Control. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs, too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid. I locked Corp Sac out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. I, uh, leaked your conversations. Corp Sac found out about, uh, Rio. He won't be a problem anymore. And I'm... Not in trouble anymore. Someone put a good word in for you, uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh, I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident. Explosions. Falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before I had stopped screaming. I am so tired now. I just want to rest. They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt. Not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. It was the Debt Corpse. I guess that's why I liked you so much from the start. My heart was filled with the same hurt, hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely, tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus and Pashta. It is important to me you look after the girl. I will. Ben? Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that, just a little longer. Play my song to the girl. Goodbye, 
Mania. Ben! FC, I'm here to sign you off for your shift. Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloud Punk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow. We picked up fresh water, grade one. It might be better if you drink that for a while till you get used to uh, things down here. What flavor? Water flavor. You're back. I wasn't sleeping, I promise. You should have been. That's what I'm going to do. Is everything okay? Did you get fired? Will you keep working for Cloudpunk? Pashta, I'm so tired I can't even think. Give me a break. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. You're not in trouble. The sofa is lumpy. And I was cold, even with the blanket. Come in with me. We'll figure out a better system in the morning. I can make breakfast. I read the manual for the food warmer. The microwave? Yeah. Did you know how to make... Tomorrow, Pashta. Come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Silencio. Good night, Rania. Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. A present? Well, a delivery from Cloudpunk. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages. I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is... Camus, you're not gonna believe this. What are we going to do today? Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. All right, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? And the coffee place? We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. My favorite. Come on, Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home. <laughs> <laughs> 